Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. The Leatherman Free P4 versus the Leatherman Arc. Both of these are very, very similar. They're both built on the free technology. We're going to talk about if you already own the Free P4, should you upgrade to the Arc? Or if you have neither of the two, you know you kind of want to get into the free technology of Leatherman. And let's see which one that you may want to get. First off, let's start off with the elephant in the room, the price. This one's $149. This one specifically, the Leatherman Arc Obsidian is $275. You could also get the regular Leatherman Arc for $229. So you got to think about that. The Leatherman Arc versus the Leatherman Free P4. Let's dive into the specs of the Leatherman Free P4 first. So the Leatherman Free P4 is the second in the line on the free series on the multi-tool side. The first one they came out was the Leatherman Free P2, which I never owned, but I thought was a very interesting tool. You can access every single tool except for the actual pliers and everything that goes with the pliers while the tool is closed. They also have technology, which is patented, which allows for you to open the tool one handed. So it makes it for easy maneuvers and be able to kind of finagle the tool by your without having to worry about um, having an additional hand free. The more that the longer that you own this, the easier it actually begins to open this. I've had mine for close to three years now and it is incredibly easy to open. This is the same with any Leatherman. If you were to get the traditional Leathermans, it would be the same way. Let's talk about the tools on the outside. So first off, you do get a 420HC blade. It's a decent size, it has no thumb stows, just a little thumb hole so you can pull it out. And the uh, all of the tools lock in place. Very, You can access all the remaining tools very easily as well by just simply pushing with the meaty part of your thumb. And then here you access the tools here, which is you do get the bottle cap lifter and a built-in Phillips screwdriver. You get a pry bar slash slotted screwdriver with a box. Uh, this is also used to open boxes. Uh, so a box opener tool in one. You also get a scissors built in. So a larger pair of spring loaded scissors. On the other side, we'll talk about the modifications that I did to my free P4 and what should be in the tool and what's actually in my tool. So here, this is still original to the free P4. This is the saw, wood saw, you can use that or plastic or whatever else you decide to try to use this thing on. I also decapitated a Leatherman curl, which allowed for me to get a file into mine. And mine fits basically like it should. It, it mostly locks into place. It gives me the coarse, it gives me the fine side. I wanted the file inside of my tool. That's why I had to go ahead and make that happen. And then I modified mine and got rid of all the tools that are on this side and added a one fourth size bit driver, which is fantastic. So now I have the bit driver in here. It locks into place with the lock that is included. It includes a four millimeter driver, a one fourth driver on top. I keep it loaded with a T, well, this has a T20 in it. I normally keep a T6, T8 or T20 in it because that's what I use commonly around the house for different stuff like taking apart multi-tools or whatever. I don't need to keep a Phillips loaded in here because there's one built into the tool. I don't need to slot it in here because there's one built into the tool. So might as well keep something different loaded into here. But what should you get on this side? Well, I have all the old tools that comes with it. These are the tools that you would have with the actual item if I wouldn't have uh, taken it apart. So you get a serrated blade. And since I've taken this apart, this there has not been a day when I've missed the serrated blade. There's literally none. Um, so I know people like the serrated blade, especially for like cutting rope, fibrous material, cardboard, uh, rubber. It's really good for that, but I haven't had any issues cause I do have the scissors. I also get the can opener. So for survival situations, the free P4 is not normally my go-to. I have an entire survival kit, which is kind of built out for that. So this, uh, this specific tool is not anything that I think about very often, but you do have the can opener. I have the awe. The awe, I wasn't a biggest fan of the awe in the free P4 anyhow, because it's not really pointed. I don't know why Leatherman decided in this version of the awe to actually made it not as pointy as a, a more traditional awe. So they made it into like a baby slotted screwdriver, but that makes it less effective. And I'll show you what I'm talking about on when we compare it to the arc. And then we have a baby file and the file didn't, it wasn't on the side of the tool. It was uh, not very coarse, so it wasn't the best for sharpening like knives or whatever, and it was really small. So I was okay with sacrificing that. 
And then we have the wire stripper, which is labeled and actually kind of tells you how to use it, which is kind of unique. And a small measurement of inches and in, in, uh, centimeters on there. Let me see if you can see that. So it does have a couple of things on there. So this is probably the only tool that I miss, which is the wire stripper built in there. But other than that, I'm okay with sacrificing those tools to get the free P4 exactly how I want it. There are more times than not when I am around my house and I'm near a one fourth size bit than I was around Leatherman's bits. Other than that, we get into the pliers themselves. We do have the pliers which are stamped USA, meaning that the entire plier assembly can be claimed to be made in the USA. The entire tool is built in the USA. Replaceable cutters, these cutters are really good. These cutters have no gap. That's one thing I've noticed between these cutters and the art cutters, there is zero gap whatsoever with these cutters. Uh, but I haven't had any issue with the art cutters. I know people complain about them, but I mean, I snapped through 14, 15 wire hangers on purpose with the arc and it seemed to work fine. And if we look at the arc, I've talked about this several times, 19 and one tool. And as just like the free P4, you can access every tool while it's closed. Now here you do have Leatherman's bit driver, their new bit driver where they took the technology from the wave. So the bit driver is a little bit further away from the tool than it is on the charge and some of the older multi tools. You do have as well in here the can opener. So it's nice to have a little can opener in here uh, segregated by itself. It would be nice if the can opener did have the wire stripper built in like on some of the other multi tools. It does not. The biggest thing that everybody likes obviously is the magna cut blade on the main blade itself. The more you work it, the better it's easier it is be kind of to flip it open like a traditional knife feels good in the hand um it cuts i mean what else can you say about it next to that you do have the wood saw i've used this a couple of times mostly on i'm working on door shims and hanging a door in my main house so to be able to saw those down and not have to go grab something out of the garage is nice the other side you get the more traditional awe as i mentioned earlier the awe on the free p4 is just completely different from this and that doesn't make that does a change the effectiveness this is the they see how they changed the awe where it's more pointy now on the uh arc they got rid of the sewing hole no one ever used that anyway and now it's easier to make a hole in wood make a hole in leather with a more traditional awe you do have the micro bit driver which i don't know if i'll ever use it it would be good on sunglasses it's going to be good on a small electronics but you only got two bits slot it in a phillips so i would have to buy more bits I have a the pry bar slotted in bottle cap lifter combination here. You have the scissors. These are the same as the free P4. You have the file, which perfectly fits. I had to do a lot of rigging on my file on my free P4 to get the file from the curl to fit in there, grinding and all sorts of stuff. So I get that in there. So you get the full tool set. And then you also get the pliers themselves, which these this one hand opening, it's still one hand opening, but I gotta I have to own it a little bit longer until it's like as worked in as my the magnets on my free P4. I've been carrying this for a week. I intend to carry this thing for two weeks and do my full review on it. So same type of thing. The only difference is I do notice a slight gap. I notice a slight gap in the pliers when it comes to the two of these. Um, it would be easiest to tell if I had a flashlight, hold on. All right, so this flashlight barely puts out any lumens. So it's on super low lumen mode. And if I put the, the flashlight itself to the arc, you can kind of see through the cutters, just a little bit of a, a gap there. Whereas on the arc, when I put the flashlight there, there's no gap. It hasn't affected me, okay? I've never replaced these cutters on my free P4, so these are these are factory. I don't know why it's different. I just happened to notice that like off rip, that there definitely is a gap in the wire cutters. It hasn't affected anything that I've done with the pliers yet. I purposely ran through the pliers of this, of the arc through. A bunch of hangers and it seemed to work fine i just wanted to kind of identify that I, I guess they changed manufacturers for the cutters and that's an interesting choice let's talk about 
what does each tool have over the other one and why it may or may not be beneficial to grab one tool over the other one okay so the first thing to think about let's talk about the free p4 and we're going to talk about the free p4 in its uh state before i completely decapitated it and before it tore it apart and did all sorts of stuff to it okay it does include a serrated blade and if you care about serrated blades then that's something that you're going to have to think about you get a serrated blade you do get the wire stripper in the free p4 you do if you care about the sewing hole in the awl you get the sewing hole in the awl um, and you also have a i think the blade might be a little bit longer because it doesn't include the thumb stud but if if the thumb stud is important to you there's no thumb stud so that kind of gets out of your way as well also in the free p4 you get the box opener which can be handy for not putting on so much pressure on your knife all of the time um and i think that's really it for advantage wise okay the arc what do you get on this you get the magna cut blade the you get the thumb stud which is going to be make for easier opening so if you want to open it really fast that might be something that you care about you get the micro bit driver you get a full coating you get the pvd and dlc coating on all the tools except for obviously the the file and the actual tool itself they kind of curve the edge just slightly when i say slightly curved the edge i mean you're barely going to notice it unless this is in your hand you're not going to notice it this is not as wide as the free p4 when it's open so this the arc feels more comfortable to hold prolonged in your hand for a while the arc is ambidextrous they added the actual holes for you to take the uh pocket clip and, and move it to the other side you can't do that with the free p4 you have to either send it in a leatherman or do the modification yourself and that's basically it when it comes to which one gets on oh, the awe is more of a traditional awe so comparing let me see if the if this is a longer knife without me measuring it no they're the same they are the same length knife so the fact that there's a thumb stud means that will get in your way for some type of cuts not really too many of them but that's something you have to think about as well so is it worth it is it worth the 100 plus more dollars for the leatherman arc obsidian compared to leatherman free p4 uh the simple answer is no it's in my opinion it's not fully worth it it could be it could be worth it in a couple of scenarios and i'll tell you which ones would work out number one if you're the type of person that only carries a multi-tool you don't carry a pocket knife and so i'm going to tell you the scenarios when this could become worth it you only carry a multi-tool you don't carry a pocket knife and you use your multi-tool at least 10 times a day and you have quick access to your multi-tool so when i say carry i don't mean it's in your bag it's like on your person and then on a belt clip in your pocket in a pouch you know at a, a holster or whatever then i think that this could be worth it having just fast access to the actual blade itself is extremely nice this feels like a traditional knife in the sense that you can literally deploy it with one hand and you can redeploy it with one hand so there is no way that i'm going to quickly deploy this knife with one hand unless i got a little bit of time on my hand so that's just not how it works with the free p4 that will get on your nerves and with time is money that could matter to you quite a bit so the um if you're so if you're into the trades i don't think either one of these is going to be something best bang for the buck is going to be this either the super tool 300 or the rebar uh, those are probably going to be the best bang for your buck if you don't need the replaceable cut uh, bits if you don't need the bit driver rather if you want the bit driver you can get the wave plus if you don't like the wave plus pinch you can either get the charge plus or you can get the charge tti those would probably be my recommendations if you're if you're trying to get something that for regular daily activities the arc doesn't really have much over the free p4 for regular daily activities open up boxes screwing in fasteners you notice coming out of walls stuff like that it's not going to be too much these things do that the other one can't do this is what they look like next to one another i mean they're pretty much the same okay so you can tell that they definitely built these on the same footprint this is what each of them look like with their tools with the pliers out the pliers are exactly the same except for the cutters are different that's about it so then you also can see what these look like with 
the tools spread out. Now, obviously, I don't have all the tools in my original Free P4. I really like the way I've built out my Free P4 with the slight modifications that I've made. So it, I mean, it does work out for me. I love the way it is with this. I'll link up this bit driver that I bought on eBay. If you're interested in that, if you already have a free P4. All right. So each of them has their pros and cons, kind of see what they look like. These both are some pricey boys. Most people don't need super fast access to their multi-tool. So held me down in a corner and I had to pick one and I also kept my normal EDC kit. It would be the free P4. Man, I guess maybe I'm leaning towards that way because of all the modifications I did. But even before the modifications, it would be the free P4 all day, every day. But if I only carried a multi-tool like I'm doing for these two week span, how much do I love the arc with only carrying a multi-tool? And for the rest of this testing, I'm going to carry the free P4 by itself. No knife. Uh, yeah. I definitely would want the arc because opening this blade super fast, like it's like I'm carrying a pocket knife is super beneficial. Like it is, it is just something that you don't, you take for granted when you have to, you know, use two hands just to get to a knife for whatever reason. And that's something that I think about quite often. So that's pretty much my recommendation. The uh, Leatherman has discontinued the free P4, I think, on purpose because pound for pound, this is not, in my opinion, worth 75 more dollars than the free P4 other than that blade steel. Other than that blade steel, that's the only reason why you would do that. This one especially is not $130 more than the Leatherman free P4. The coating is nice, all that. I also like the design pattern a little bit more of the Free P4. They they took away the little bubble design, and I get it. I don't know. I don't know if I 100% get it, but they kind of wanted to, you know, maybe freak it out a little bit. So they did get rid of that. But I like that design. I kind of I'm almost thinking about taking the pocket clip off the Free P4 and putting it on the Arc. Um, because I like the silver look of it. So you can kind of see what these bad boys do look like and all of that good stuff. Comment down below, which one would you keep? Would you have the free P4 with all its uh, normal tools? Like I say, if you're gonna do any mod to the free P4, I would do the bit driver mod. I would keep the serrated blade because this freaking uh, file is a, is a complete headache and I don't even use it as often as I thought I would. I would keep the original file. I would do the bit driver mod and that's about it. So I'm probably going to end up putting a serrated blade back into the tool. But other than that, I'm very happy with my free P4. If this is your first time stopping by, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.